Did you see where Bruce Springsteen sold his uh, music catalog? $500 million? What? You know what his reaction was when he found out he was going to get that kind of money? If... What was his reaction? All right! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 Wait. You're all going home now. <laughs> Bring it home, boy. Oh. <laughs> you didn't get me come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh. Well, all right. <laughs> Why? All right. Well, all right. I'm going to do that nine more times. <laughs> all right. <laughs> come on now. After she put her kids to bed. But Hall and Oates, they're better songwriters than Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, I don't think huh? I, I don't think you could. Yeah. How could that? you possibly compare Hall and Oates and Bruce Springsteen? The uh, boss takes a backseat to Daryl and John. Do you that think simple? so? Mm. I wonder what they could sell their whole catalog for. Hmm. Yeah. You That's think they question. could sell it for five hundred million dollars, Todd? As long as they sell it for one dollar more they than would what not. Bruce got, they I'll would be very not. happy. They wouldn't even come close to that. I bet it'd be a lot of money, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, McLovin. Maybe we could buy the Oats catalog. Just say, <laughs> see if it's sold out. Yeah, we can't us. afford the Hall, but we can we can afford the Oats. Yes, Paul. So Bruce Springsteen, he's you know at the on the back nine, he gives it up now. And so these are, songs will be used in commercials forever, and he'll have no say in it. That's basically it, right? That he gives up all control of how well, his music is used. Why is he selling it? He didn't need to. But he could, well, someone's going to sell it, and at least now he controls the dough. I would guess, like he can give it to. Charity, his kids. I don't even know if he has kids. Yeah, but yeah, he's got kids. He's got three. But his his wife could sell this when he dies. I think I, I don't know. I was just kind of surprised that he was selling. I know there are other artists who've done this. I think Neil Young did it. You know, there's there's a lot of artists doing it. Yeah, it seems like yeah. a bunch lately. Yeah, or in the past like two years or yeah. so. I think Fleetwood Mac sold their whole catalog. That's another one that's you know worth a gajillion dollars. Yeah, yeah, Paul. What if you like? Arby's, Dancing in the Dark Meat. They'll be like using his songs and all types of things. What? Dancing in the Dark. Remember? He's dancing. Oh, I know that. What's Dancing that in to... the Dark Meat. Arby's. Mm. We, we got mm. the meats. Mm. It's going to happen. Mm. Yes, McClellan. I can't verify the numbers, but I have the five most valuable catalogs. Okay. Get, you could guess. Who do you think number one is? Did the Beatles sell theirs? Well, they value it at $500 million. They're number one. The, it, the they, Beatles is 500, is same as Springsteen? This is from June of 2021. They must have missed wow. these numbers. I think they underestimated how much Springsteen would get. Now, who owns the Beatles now? It's, it was Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. I'm not sure. Then Michael Jackson second. They say Rodgers and Hammerstein is third, the playwright. Bob Dylan fourth. Their version of Freebird yeah. is awesome. This is Bob Dylan <laughs> and Paul Simon. But who knows? This Paul is, Simon? This is an estimation. They have Paul Simon at 250. There's some pretty big uh, songs there. I think Paul Simon already sold his. Wow. But why not? Like, I don't know. If you're Bruce Springsteen, what are you going to do with it? Just take the 500 mil. Well, I know, but I, I don't know. It feels like there's more of a purity to Springsteen that he wouldn't sell. That, okay, so you have that money... What's it going to be worth in five more years or 10 more years? Does money really matter to him? Yes. McCormick. Paul Simon was $250 million last April. That's not Simon and Garfunkel. That's just Simon? It says Paul Simon's song catalog, so I, I guess that's not all. Yeah. Did they co-write that other music? I don't know. I just, I know. There's no way that if you be my bodyguard mm, I is worth $250 million. I'm sorry. That it's alone. A great, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Springsteen was in a Jeep commercial, wasn't he? Uh, during yeah, the Super Bowl? That, but didn't they drop that because he had a DUI? Yeah. And, and that's where he took a shot and, and with somebody in a park. I think they got engaged or something. That he sounds did like a, a song. He did a. <laughs> how would it go, Todd? For the Ram truck? No, I, you weren't uh, listening. Were you? I was looking at a, a limerick. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught me you. looking at a limerick. You should email. listen to the show. I do. Usually, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a second chance? So that was, that yeah, was and the and it's, moment. And it's and it's Ram that you were talking about. We're talking about Jeep. But Springsteen was, I think, in a park. A couple got engaged. They did a celebratory shot and then somebody saw it and then Springsteen got a DUI and then he was doing this this uh Jeep commercial for the Super Bowl charges got dropped but I don't I don't know if the commercial ran or if it ran during the Super Bowl or how long it ran but I know that there was the you know DUI 
with that. Yes, McLevin. Paul Simon owns all the songs, by the way. No, he does. He wrote them. And it said, Bridge Over Troubled Water is used 5 million times and broadcast already. So that's how much money like is at stake here. Yeah. But, but Born in the USA could be misused. Don't you, aren't well, you Well, yeah, of that? because people, you know, usually these politicians, they, they, don't, they didn't listen to the lyrics. You know, all you hear is Born in the USA. If you listen to the lyrics, it's not a positive song. It's about people losing jobs. <laughs> it's, a, it's, yeah, Born in the USA and losing jobs. Yes, Tom. Now, are we taking a Jeep shot at the boss for bringing up some kind of old stuff no, that he got run into? I mean, come on. Don't recover. You know, you don't play well from behind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't. 